okay? Here's my GIMP tutorial. Um, but just start off. Here's a little drawing I had had pulled up. Up. Um. Uh, I know for my blind art for this, I used my ink, not not airbrush, ink tool. It looks like that. These these are my settings. Hundred for the opacity. I, d I, I turn off smooth stroke. On size, is it 23.7 for a 2000 by 2000 canvas? That looks like that. Angle 25.0 and and everything all the way. This is is the shape. Here's what square looks like. Well, I should probably turn up the size so you could see it better. Um, and here's the other one, another square. Okay, I know I use the circle. We'll turn off the size. Oh. And, well, um, but for coloring, Ink. Um, I I use the paintbrush. I create a new layer below this the the line art layer. We should go to probably probably name it. Okay. Um, let me go go ahead and. Uh, crop it. I don't think that's a crop. Okay. It's loading. I did something over there. Change the size to 578 by 918. Okay, it's all cropped. Let me go to my navigation. Okay. Now we go back to layers. Okay. Just pick any color. Let's let's get. Okay. Go to the brush tool. I I I'm I have have round two thousand. There's also round zero four zero. My color in. I don't care if I'm outside the lines. Okay. Then after that, I go to the eraser. Okay. Just keep erasing. We'll fix any mess ups later. Let's do this quick and see. Yours can be much better than mine because I, I just did it quick just to show y'all. But for like eyes, um, um, you can, and also, oh, oh, if you want to use the gradient tool, or or make markings or anything, and you go to the magic wand tool and select it. Okay, it's selected, even though it doesn't look like it, but you're not able to color outside it so you can well it's being weird let me erase that color drop oh yeah 
sorry. It's been weird. Okay. Now we go to the magic wand again. If you did what I did. N now for what I'm doing, I gradient tool. Let's see what I want. What is that? Oh. When, uh, how I uh, moved up the colors was uh, with the keys is X on the, on the keyboard. Oh, yeah, let me fix that. Okay, now to get all that, the stuff you don't want, go to press X. Let's go to, ah, have all those two. Now you just color in right there. Let's go to get a pinkish. Um, by the way, I'm using GIP 2.8. If I didn't say that, okay. Um, if you're worried about shading, you you go to uh, transparent background and you pick one of these. Multiply I is what normally what I use. If you want want to use, okay. I, if you want to use like a blue. looks really neat this will work on on any version I think I'm using the newest version but that's how that works let's go to shade it that looks nice I'll just assume the light source is up there. I'll scoop this. You can and use white to just erase on multiply. This also works in Photoshop. You can smudge if you wanted to. Oh, that gets slow. I'm not a huge fan of um, smudging. You could blur. Let's go to erase that up there. Okay. Um, let's see what else. I'll probably make a tutorial um, on line art too. We could just try that. Oh, it's still an eraser. Nah. All 
I do not like when Gimp does that. But yeah, that's the end of the tutorial. Please subscribe.